Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm showing you guys how to downgrade apps. So I'm just showing you guys on uh, the two methods how you guys can downgrade it. Um, this does work pretty much from like iOS seven or eight, um, all the way up to iOS uh, should work up to iOS fourteen. So um, I just, first of all I do want to say that um, like I said, you guys do need a jailbreak for this method, and that there's uh, two methods. So I'm gonna show you guys the sources to add, and then I'm gonna show you guys um, the tweets you guys need. So also I want to say that right here is um, a link for app admin 14. So if you guys are on iOS 14, you guys wouldn't need this instead of a fit step admin because a fit step admin only supports iOS 13.0 to 13.7. iOS, um, up to iOS 12, like iOS 7, iOS 12 app admin works. And then like later iOS versions, like iOS 13 and 14, um, App Store plus plus works. But if you do you want to use app admin um, on iOS 14, you guys would need this right here. Instead of a fit step admin, you would need this tweak. I mean, this dev file installed, which is app admin 14. And does not support a twelve devices. So um, let's get the video. So I have try to leave this link down in the description. I already made a video on this on my channel. So you can search up Apple Tech Stop App Admin, and this should come up like App, um, App Admin fourteen, and I'll have the link in the, that video description. Um, like I said, I'll try to remember to add it in this video description as well. So first off, let's get down to the sources to add. So we saw two tweets. Well, technically three tweets. Well, if you count this one, four. But depending on your device, depending on what, yeah, depending on what device and I was well, depending on what I was version you have, you got to install. The right set of tweets. Um, so if you saw App Store Plus Plus, it's just the tweet by itself. But if you do install App Admin on iOS um, eight through iOS twelve, you don't need anything. But if you install an App Admin on iOS thirteen, you guys do need a fit to App Admin, which I'm gonna show you. And if you saw App Admin on iOS fourteen, you would need App Admin in this tweak right here. So all right, let's begin the video. So the first tweak, I mean, first source, you can add many where you want. Um, this one here, Repo of a Noob, tweet.mario.net.in. So you guys want to add that source right there. The second source we want to add is, oh, let's go down here first. Right here, OnLib Apps. Right here, OnLib Apps, beta.onlibapps.com. And then the last source you guys want to add is, which one we have? Oh, App Store Plus Plus, which is in the Coats repo. Uh, right there. Coatpotes.jhub.io. So you pause the video, you know, add those three sources, and, and then you're good to go. <clears throat> Alright, so for this device right here, I have a fits to app admin and I have app admin. You cannot install app admin and app store plus plus at the same time. Um, they can't like go over each other, so it will automatically remove the other one if you have the other one installed, and vice versa. If I have app admin installed and I'm trying to install app store plus plus, it will automatically remove app admin. Um, if I'm trying to install app ad I mean app store plus plus, have app admin installed, it will automatically remove App admin or vice versa, you know what I mean. You only have one installed, app admin or app store plus plus. If you want to install the other one, it just remove the other one and install the other one. Um, but with app admin, you will need this because on iOS 13, because it crashes. So install a fits app admin and then right here and then install app admin. So I do want to give you some notices, guys, and some warnings. Um, these tweaks should work fine if, if for any reason it's screwing up your device. That's not on me. I did test this tweak out multiple times, reinstalled it, and installed it. I've been using it on my mainly driver, and it's been no issues, but just can give you guys a warning. I think you uh, do with jailbreaking is at your own risk. Just keep that in mind. Also, when you guys first use app admin, it's going to like, I don't know why, but gives you like a JSON error, um, which I'm actually going to make a video on how to fix it. But in this video, I'm just going to show you, tell you exactly how to fix it. You just want to give it time. So um, at first, when you saw app admin, you're going to get that error saying like JSON can't be found. Um, you try to downgrade apps. You just gotta wait like a day or two, and then it'll just fix itself. That's really it. Um, but for apps for plus plus, it's more updated, it's more modern, it gets updated more. While app admin has not been updated because on the maps has not been updating his tweets in years. So like I said, you're gonna have more problems with this one. But app only the big difference. Um, besides that, app store plus plus does work fine as soon as you install. There's no errors or anything. But the big difference is that with app admin, it does get you more versions. So you could technically downgrade if you have the software identifier. There are websites with those software identifier versions. So you still technically um, any kind of version of apps, but if you just like just downgrade by itself, like on app admin, it does have more versions, like the older versions than app store plus plus. Keep that in mind. But like you said, you can use the software identifier mode to install, I mean, uh, to downgrade to like any pretty much version as long as you have that right software identifier, um, you know, number. So, all right, so I think that thing is pretty much important was said so on this uh phone i have apps admin installed and on this one over here i have app store plus plus installed okay so you read the description really quickly if you want this also supports 11 to 15 but from i was 8 to 10 i guess you technically would have to use app admin um so hope i covered everything in this video guys i'm just gonna show you now just a quick demonstration of both of these um ones and you guys can install wherever one you want and that's really it so we'll go up the app store on both devices 
Um, like I said, I did wait for that fit. So that fits is two days. I did actually move it and install it again to see if like it was still broken, but it, it's broken on App Admin. Like I said, for the first two days. Um, so you have to wait, like I said, on App Admin, just give it like a day or two and it should be working. But right now it's not gonna be working for me because I, like I said, I reinstalled it. But I did try it before and it was working until I removed it again and then reinstalled it. Um, so give it two days for App Admin and it should be working. But this is how you pretty much reuse the tweets. So for App Store Plus Plus, App Admin, pretty much do the same thing. So we can go to an app right here, it could be get or just download it. Also, another one more point thing I want to mention. Um, if you guys are trying to downgrade from App Admin on the get button, it will not work. It would just say like, you have to be purchased by his Apple ID. Because Apple updated like something and then App, App Admin has not been updated for a while, so it does not work anymore. And this is like a year ago. But after a plus plus, you can downgrade it. So if there's an app that does not support your iOS version, but an early, a later, ver I mean, an earlier version does, then you could still install it um, by downgrading on App Store Plus Plus. And on, on App Admin, you only downgrade um, apps if it has a cloud, which means you already installed it before. So keep that in mind as well. Um, so App Store Plus Plus is definitely in a winner, I would say. Besides the part that with App Admin, you get lower download versions, but on app admin, when you get lower download versions, um, you, if you ever like install another device, you can just pretty much put that code in here, put your salt identifier code, and just install that version. So that's why I have both of them installed. Um, but yeah, so pretty much you, the downgrade, you go to here, and then this is app admin. You have these three menu options that come up. Press downgrade, and then the downgrade version will come right here. It doesn't have any it would tell you, but if nothing loads like you know right now. It's nothing loading, and you're like, what the heck? So you just refresh it. Then you get that error, the JSON error. Just give it a second. Then obviously it's not working to wait like a day or two, like I told you. There you go. So just give it like a day or two. It's pretty much having like errors like connecting to the host and the website it uses or the host it uses to get those versions. Um, and like I said, it's not being updated anymore, so it's still kind of broken, but it does work. Just give it a day or two and then it should have the versions there. And you just press on the version to downgrade to, and that's it, done. Um, and then you go to here on the top right and you can actually put in the software ident version identifier external identifier uh, number you can downgrade to any pretty much version as long as you have that right number and app store plus plus we'll go to the same app hold on to it or you can hold on to the get button you have this menu similar to uh, app admin tap on downgrade upgrade whatever update and you have all your versions that you're compatible with and then you just pretty much tap on a version and then it will, just, it will install that version and um yeah so you also can test it out if it worked by going back to the app after downloads it would say update and that's obviously how you know that like it it done my version there's also other tweets you guys can install that tells you the version so if, like for example i have a tweet called app editor so if i can go to any app i want like i said i want to this app swipe up on it and tell me right here the version so it's also something we can check there's a couple other uh, apps that you guys can use um this one has I forgot the tweet name of it but if i swipe up on the app it tells you also right there 10.7 that's the version of it i forgot what this tweet's called but um yeah that's really it and you also can for example app show plus plus hold on to get and then do this. And I've, I've been, if you hold on to get and tap on like a version to downgrade to, when it says get, it will not work. It will just say like, your app ID is not compatible with this or you have to install it before downgrading it, whatever it says. But an app admin, you can downgrade on get, on when it says get. But an app, app I mean, AppShare++ plus plus you can. An app admin has to have like a cloud there for you to downgrade it, um, which is pretty much means you just already installed it before, that allows, then allows you to downgrade it. But yeah, check what version you want. So I so want this version right here. Tap onto it and it's gonna to start to install for me. And also with, um, what's his name? On um, app admin, it does give you, um, yeah, so when you just tap on get on app admin, it like, it'll keep like loading and then say get again. You have to keep pressing it, keep pressing it, keep pressing it. So app, it's like really glitchy to app admin. After plus plus definitely works better. Um, so, and you know, instead of using two tweets, if you're on iOS 13 or 14, then install it. You on app store, app store plus plus, it's just one tweak. And like I said, if you tap on get, and you just download something regular on app ad, on app admin it does give you like it doesn't, it doesn't even install you have to keep pressing it like five or ten times for it to install on app store plus plus it works a lot better and yeah it's downloading right now and after downloads it's gonna have it's gonna be on that version i just downgraded to which i'm not even sure i did but yeah thank you guys so much for watching catch you next one like comment subscribe and peace